Yeah, it's early morning, 4 o'clock. This is Larry. It's uh, Friday, November 13th, and I'm heading back to the Aces and Eights GPAA claim in Nelson, Nevada. Uh, the reason I'm going back so soon, I got a little clue. Kevin Hoagland said that there's good gold about 50 feet from the parking area but you have to think outside of the box so that's the <laughs> it's not a whole it's not a great clue but uh, I'm gonna have to run with it it's supposed to get up the hottest today maybe 62 I might be long gone by the time it gets there in the afternoon I don't know yeah I'm pretty sure today that uh, Jeff Williams and also Steve they call him Desert Steve from Desert Outfitters. I think they're going to be working on a claim right above where I'll be working. I don't know if I'll actually see them today, but uh, I, I probably won't have time to go up there. So unless they pass by where I'm at, uh, I may not see them. But hopefully they'll find something too. They're going to have a few people up there. Okay, pull into here. So it's about 20 to 9, so now i got to get to work. It's like it's not too breezy out there. Well, yeah, it is up there, because I want to set up the dry washer. So i got my panning station set up, dry washer all set up, tested it, it's working fine. And uh, i just got to go try to find some gold. The, the best way, of course, if I knew exactly where it was, I'd set up the dry washer there, but I'm just going to set it up here for now anyway and just haul the dirt back here. Okay, so I'm walking around trying to think outside of the box. Now, the box would tell me right here in this little creek, dry creek bed here would be a good place, but I've got to think outside of the box, so let me try to figure it out. Well, I think I'm going to have to start thinking in the box to begin with. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what outside the box would be here. It'll take a little trial and error on that. But I want to, uh, this looks like a good place. you got a wash coming down here. Then it meets up with this wash. So I'm going to try right in this area. My setup's way down there, so just have to carry things a little ways. If it proves beneficial, I could always move the operation up here, I guess. Ground here is pretty hard, which is a good thing for finding gold, a bad thing for digging. <laughs> but you can't have both things, I guess. I think, I think I'm into even a little possible, a little bit of a clay layer, maybe. Something similar to clay, anyway. I think before I run any dirt through the dry washer over there, I'm going to do some test pans to see if I'm even uh, getting anything at all. I'm starting to see a little more black sands, and I do see there's a micro speck there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's another speck there. Again, you, I'm sure you can't see it on the camera. Well, one thing I can say for certainty, after running a bunch of test pans, I am not on the gold. I mean, I saw a couple little micron specks. That was about it. So I guess I'm going to have to do that thinking out of the box bit. I'll start figuring that one out. Well, I went through the concentrates from the dry wash and I got nothing, so... I'm just not uh, on any gold here. Now, uh, Steve uh, Lindley there from Desert Outfitters, Steve Johnson, they, they said I could uh, go up and work on their claim tomorrow if I hang out here. Um, I might just go up there to see, look at their operation later today. Well, we'll see. 
I'll see how I do here. If I do here, I'll just stick with this. I wasn't really planning on being here tomorrow. So I'd have to get a place to stay and everything. So I don't know. I'll just keep... Now they seem to think... See, uh, uh, Kevin Hoagland said where you park and you'll find gold within 50 feet. If you, you know, think out of the box. They seem to think he was way up at some pad on the other end of this claim. It's 40 acres. Uh, I don't know if you can drive up there and that's the pad and then you pull off and that's what he's talking about. But uh, I'm just going to have to look around, I guess. <laughs> okay, so here's the southwest corner. And... Uh, Lynn uh, Williams and Steve, they're up around the bend there on a different claim. So I'm just going to, I've got my little pan here, I already threw my water out. I'm just going to scoop a little bit here and there, see if I can do just a little quick pan. A couple little test pans here with, uh, with a little bit of water. You know, you can't do a real good job, but I didn't really see anything. So let me go up here where these guys are at, see how they're doing. Way up there. Good. Slim's got a watchful eye over you here. Yeah, I saw it. So you say you live in England, huh? Yeah. Both of us were jumping up and down on it. Mm -hmm. You see the old ladder right here? Yeah. I'm sure it goes down and starts to angle. And I don't know why they cut this one and then cut that one. I don't know if this was first and then that one second, or vice versa. It's hard to tell. But it's really odd they'd have two shafts side by side. And my theory on why the shaft is there is you got quartz veins that are running at a northwest strike. Okay. So if you notice, they pulled those veins out over there. You can see where they actually tunneled to get some of them out. Hmm. They got gold in them. I sampled them. I know there's gold in them. My theory is, just because of the way it looks, is that they came in over here, dropped the shaft down, got way up underneath those quartz veins, then they cross-cut this direction to get up underneath them and started coming up. Oh. That's my theory because I'm looking at the mine dumps, and that's what it looks like. Hmm. And there's a lot of pyrite in that ore, too. I don't like that. <laughs> I want that pretty mill oxidized gold. What, so, uh, what kind of mineral mostly is the gold in here? You got quartz monzite, which is inside of all of this andesite. The andesite is the volcanic rock that you see. Okay. And wherever you see where it changes color to a green color, uh -huh. and a host of vein in it, that green is chloride. It's a great precipitate of gold. It actually will put it in solution. So what? Does it go down that way? Um, it, it did at one time, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it started to arc this direction. Now, this one's sitting on top of that one. <laughs> well, the old mines here. Load mine. So, yeah, so this will be real fine stuff. It's not placer, placer area. It's real fine stuff that's sloughing off from hard rock here Here's another one. You can see the timber in there. There's some old building here. Looks like there might be another shaft way up there. I'm not going to climb up though. It's a little slick. And the second area is usually uh, RDX or or some, some other explosive that will go off first, set off the secondary, and then that will set off your, your primary. So, it, as long as you're not crazy with the caps, you'll be fine. Don't sit on them, don't bite into them. I see one kid do that on the news. <laughs> Took half his jaw off. Because of the simple fact they didn't mess with it. But, 
you can see the iron in it, right? Yeah. So that's that's like a good sign. When we were in the vein, when we were in the mine, remember how it was like all white and didn't have any of that red in it? But now yeah, you can yeah. see the red in it. So yeah. That would be more likely to Bingo. have gold in it than those if they left the vein in the mine. against each other and then they fractured open. And then this is where this silica solution came up through the bottom of a batholin. Well, this is where that fault line runs down the middle, creating this wash. And this is probably the rest of that vein that's shifted up this way. And of course, you can see they really chased it. And then the, the, the uh, fault bends, and you can see where they popped out the side there. Well, I sampled this yesterday, and there was gold in it. Yeah. So, and you can see where they chased it. This is would be considered the hanging wall. There's a nice little bug right there. Yeah, bug. A bug is uh, a pocket or a cavity in solid rock. It's usually uh, created by a steam pocket uh, that's inside of it when the coarse veins are forming, and then it leaves a space behind after everything is cooled and solidified. So if you're going to dig this out, you just try to yeah go right up in this between these two yep different contact zones. Exactly. Right in there. Yep. And see this nice green? That's from the chloride in the rock. Anyway, this is all I'd be concerned about right here. And like I said, most miners know this is. And I won't explain why yet tomorrow. Most of the mineralization is going to be in your hanging wall, not the foot wall. This is your foot wall here, and this is the hanging wall. Hanging wall is always the one that looks like it's going to fall on you. Okay. And so that's why you notice that they left the hanging wall behind and they blasted out the foot wall. They only cared about the minerals against the hanging wall. See mm -hmm. that? That's why it's still there. Right. So, and I don't know why they left this here. Maybe the gold content ran out, or maybe. Uh, Maybe they moved on to better claims. I don't know. Plus, you like doing this to take your frustrations out. <laughs> yeah. That damn Steve. Mother! <laughs> God! A second time. A lot of guys will do this. If you're just doing an initial grind and you don't want to waste a lot of time, this is the way to do it. If you start finding gold, oh yeah, I'm running it back through again and get a more accurate sample. I tell that you need a new one. What? I know you can pick one of those up. <laughs> Unfortunately, those don't go bad. Mortar and pestles? Yeah, no. usually you buy one and that's your mortar. Yeah, Jeff Williams said uh, he didn't. He just raced by and he didn't know that was me earlier. He saw somebody dry washing out there. And uh, he says, what's that guy dry washing that down there for? There's nothing there. So he's been all over those hills, so... He was right. I guess there's some gold there someplace on that claim, but I don't know where it is. I didn't find it.